This council now become committee of the whole council to consider the trademarks amendment bill 2019. Members may refer to appendix to the script for the debate and voting arrangements for the bill. Members have been informed that the committee will conduct a joint debate on the clauses and the amendment. I now propose the question to you that the following clauses stem part of the bill. Clauses 1 to 27, Secretary for Commerce and Economic Development will move his amendment which seeks to amend Clause 15. Members may refer to the appendix for the script for details of the amendments. Members may now proceed to a joint debate on the clauses and the amendment. I will now first call upon the Secretary to speak, but he is not required to move his amendment this stage. Then I will call upon members to speak. Upon the conclusion of the joint debate, the committee will first vote on the clauses with no amendment, standing part of the bill, and then the Secretary's amendment. Secretary, Chairman, my amendment seeks to amend Clause 15 of the bill to include the term willfully in the English version and gu yi in the Chinese version of Section 96F2A to illustrate more clearly the means area of the relevant offence. And uh, the uh, Bills Committee supports the amendment. I urge members to support the amendment. Dr. K. K. Kwok. The amendment is very simple in nature. It's about um, uh, adding the word willfully. I didn't have the opportunity to speak uh, in the second reading debate, so I hope the um, chair will allow me to say a little bit more about the bill itself. Now, the uh, enforcement uh, will be handed over from the uh, police to the Customs and Excise Department. In ordinary times, Hong Kong people gave a pass or a little bit higher than a pass to these two enforcement departments. But from last year to now, whether it be the Hong Kong police or the Customs and Excise Department, they have done something most disappointing to the public. Take the Customs and Excise example. Just last month, the CNA Department. Uh, took enforcement action against uh, uh, goods owned by Demosisto, a batch, a consignment of uh, face masks, and uh, the department is going to prosecute some of uh, the persons in charge in Demosisto. Demosisto. And the customer excise has also prosecuted a uh, so called yellow uh, restaurant for serving uh, a dish. Um, Sweet corn and uh, garoppa rice. So uh, the police are called black cops. But Hong Kongers nowadays, there are people who um, willfully uh, break the law. We thought that the customs and excise, after all, are not black cops and they would behave differently. But judging from the enforcement action by the CNE, in recently they use very special standards and they select organizations or so called yellow shops considered uh, as being hostile to the government. Now, th this is uh, where the problem lies. With the trademarks amendment bill, I think we're giving them an extra tool for political suppression. Why do I say so? Many members, including Mr. Jeremy Tam, said trademarks are important. Uh, for instance, if a body or an organization is called um, Democratic Association for the Betterment of Hong Kong. Now, Ms. Dr. K.K. Kwok, can you speak on the amendment? You should say whether you support the amendment or not. Yes, this is exactly what I am uh, saying. I'd like to focus on the term willfully, because a willfully uh, inf involves subjective judgment. In a community that has respect for the rule of law, and uh, if enforcement is done by uh, well-trusted law enforcement bodies, of course, the um, definition of willfully will be very narrow. But our law enforcement agencies, together with the DFJ, 
Well, just yesterday, uh, three uh, members who went into the uh, council building uh, had their charges amended to rioting. So many people are worried as to why uh, the word willfully should be added to this clause, because uh, this is talking about uh, the uh, motive. Has uh, ever Yao deliberately or willfully done something uh, to belittle uh, this council, whether Carrie Lam has done so willfully? So the term would uh, cause us to worry, and therefore we should think twice about adding this term. Police officers are supposed to maintain uh, law and order. Now they are uh, tools uh, of suppression, and the CNE department is supposed to ensure fair trade. But again, uh, it is now uh, a tool of political suppression. And Albert Yao, the secretary, should uh, be uh, checking on his subordinates. Now, we are quite concerned about the term willfully. Uh, perhaps our lawyers in this council can comment on this. Uh, the DFJ may make use of uh, this term willfully in the Trademarks Amendment Bill as a tool to suppress people. Now, a uh, trademark. Now, uh, somebody claimed uh, to um, uh, build up Hong Kong uh, in a democratic manner, but then uh, perhaps uh, the organization is not doing uh, according uh, to his trademark, and I may uh, challenge the department. And I may say to uh, Mr. Albert Young that instead of um, promoting democracy and to build up Hong Kong, uh, this organization is doing exactly the opposite. Please come back to the um, amendment. I'm coming to that. Well, uh, Mr. Albert Young may say that they're not doing that uh, willfully. In fact, they've been lying all along when they talked about democracy. They mean pseudo democracy. Dr. Kike Kwok, if you do not return to this, um, no, no, I'm talking about um, this uh, democratic alliance for betterment of Hong Kong. Well, well, the amendment is to add the word willfully. I'm worried that the term will be abused by the CNED. And also the secretary here, they can willfully not enforce the law. If somebody is selling uh, fake medicine, now you can also use the term willfully uh, to frame people. And you may say that uh, the, the person hasn't done it willfully and therefore he should not be convicted because of no trust and confidence in this government. And uh, out of the blue, Edward Yang is uh, suppressing our THK. You have to stop, Dr. K.K. Kong. Why not? Well, there is no quorum. Okay, I won't argue with you.
。再報其他委員發言。Does any other member wish to speak? If not, I would、um, invite the secretary to speak again. When I proposed the committee stage amendment, I already explained the contents of the amendment. However, some members made、um, accusations towards the Customs Excise Department that were untrue, and I'd like to rebuke them. The Customs and Excise Department. Act in accordance with the laws, and all the prosecutions are made after consulting the Department of Justice, and the final decisions depend on the courts. I hope members would respect the system. I now put the question to you that clauses one to fourteen and sixteen to twenty-four, twenty-seven stand part of the bill. Will those in favour please raise their hands? Those against, please raise their hand. The question is agreed by a majority of the members present. I declare the motion passed. The committee now votes on the secretary's amendment. Secretary, you may move your amendment. Chairman, I move my amendment as set out in the appendix to the script. I propose a question to you that the secretary's amendment be passed. I now put the question to you as stated. Will those in favour please raise your hands? Those against please raise your hands. I think the question is agreed by majority of the members present. I declare the amendment passed. Clause fifteen as amended. I now put the question to you. That the clause as amended just read out by the clerk stand part of the bill. Will those in favour please raise their hands? Those against please raise their hands. The question is agreed by a majority of the members present. I declare the motion passed. All the proceedings on the trademarks amendment bill 2019 have been concluded in committee of the whole council. Council now resumes. Secretary for Commerce and Economic Development. President, I now report to the council. That the trademarks amendment bill 2019 has been passed by committee of the whole council with amendment. I move the motion that this council adopts the report. I now propose a question to you, that the secretary's motion be passed in accordance with the rules of procedure. This motion shall be voted. I now put the question to you as stated. Will those in favour please raise their hands? Those against please raise their hands. The question is agreed by majority of the members present. I declare the motion passed. Third reading, Trademarks Amendment Bill 2019, Secretary Falk.